Okay. So good afternoon, everyone. Once again, um, this is a community call for Chaos Africa, and um, I'll be facilitating this call today. My name is Ade Inkaori Sonia, and I'm welcoming everybody. Um, so I have sent in the deck document. Um, let's start filling in, and then I get to ask the questions. Okay, let me share my screen so that um, we can all see what's going on. Okay. Okay, so let me see who else has joined the call. All right, I think we have more participants. Hi, Fion. Good to have you on the call. Hi, good afternoon. How are you doing? Okay, how are you two? I'm just saying. <laughs> You're what? I, mean, no, what um, I said I'm just saying. Why now? What's going on? <laughs> oh, well, that, that's only what's going on right now. Um, I can hear you clearly. Can you hear me clearly? Yeah, I can. I can hear you. Can you hear me clearly? Now? Okay. Um, let me hear you again. What I'm saying is just like it's just cool and that's basically or mostly what has been going on. Nothing else. Sorry. <laughs> okay, so uh, I hope you are trying to take a break in December. Break or like break, break, like break, and then try to prepare for 2024. 20, I don't know if the break comes, I'll take it. If it does not come, <laughs> I'll not take it. I'll post it. Oh, okay. I I hope you're able to. Um, so uh, I'm looking at um people uh writing down. The, since the time they've been they've been um they've joined chaos and Kisley, is it a year and five months or six, should we say six months okay we are not even in december so it's a year and five months okay the ogs <laughs> okay so i remember joining last year june and that um, the first um, community call also when we started Chaos Africa. Oh, so Hayomide has spent a year also. When exactly did you join, Joe? If you <laughs> try to think about it. Yeah, I'm okay, trying to look so... for it. I can't remember at the moment. But <laughs> I think it's one time Ruth sent me the... Um... Need to join, so I'm trying to look for the DM and see the time oh. that she sent. Oh, okay. Okay. All right. Um. So I guess we don't have newcomers because um I can see that. Okay. Let me see. More people have joined, and we have. Let me see who else. Hi, Chidalu. Chidal, 
Okay. Can you hear me, Chitalu? Yes, I can. Hello. Good evening. Good afternoon. Sorry. <laughs> Very good Thank you. Thank you for coming. It's good to see, to hear from you. Good to hear from you, you too. I missed you <laughs> on every life. I missed oh, you. Oh, I missed you. I missed you now. <laughs> I missed our meetings, honestly. But then, then. They just have to be this um rescheduling and all. Okay, so um we've started the agenda, and like I said before, I don't think we have any newcomer. So let's just go to the um next on the agenda, which is the reflection. So today's the our last call for the year. So how do you feel, everyone? <laughs> Let me see your reactions, guys. Today is our last call for 2023. Because we'll be going on a break in December, the chaos, um, the general chaos community. Uh, give me some reactions. I can't see, I can't see, I can't see any of these reactions. Ayomide, are you in design team? Because I can see you said you missed Kinsley. <laughs> yeah, I, I am on the design team. Oh, okay, 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 cool. Nobody is responding. No. Can you guys hear me? I said, how do you feel about taking a break? Or how do you feel? Don't you want to go on a break? Um, Who is planning to go to the Bahamas? You know? <laughs> yeah, hello. Yes, I can hear you. Yeah, I think so. Well, it's actually cool going on a break, right? Just taking a little time off and um, just refresh, right? Mm -hmm. Being alone, mm -hmm. yeah, like long years in terms of work. <laughs> so mm -hmm. I think um, I'm actually looking forward to the break, yeah. I'm also looking forward to the break. Not just the back chaos, even the break from most things. I, I have started saying no to so many things coming in in December. Like, seriously, I need a break. <laughs> so I, I listened to a podcast, uh, podcast recently uh, talking about how to um, focus and prioritize as a leader. And one of the, the one, one, one of the um, things mentioned by the, um, the podcaster was that for you to be able to achieve um, your own goals you need to ruthlessly say no to to many other things that don't fit into your goal ruthlessly and I was like wow <laughs> how do you ruthlessly say no to people it's 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 very very um uh, I, I I don't know how to even say it. like it's it's kind of um rude to want to say no how do you feel about that at someone who had to um do so many things how do you feel about saying no to some projects especially when so many things are coming at you um would anyone would like to share okay okay yeah. Just kind of just confirm if you can hear me before I continue. Because this, this stuff always happens to me when I start talking and nobody hears me and I go on and on for like minutes. So please confirm you can hear me. I am Sorry. we can hear you. Hi, you can I hear can't you. hear you, Martin. Can you hear me now? We can hear you. I okay, I'm, I can I'm hear you. Too. I'm missing you, I'm sorry. Okay, so recently I've had to say no to like certain projects that came my way because of I have like a what 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 do I call it? So like say I have like a personal project I've been working on, personal startup ish thingy that I have mm -hmm. going on, and you know mm -hmm. because of that I've had to say no because um you know it's everybody here can understand can relate that it's difficult to say no to money. I swear to God it's difficult <laughs> to say no to money, and <laughs> it, uh, you you know when and the, the what makes it more difficult is that the person knows you want to say no because that they keep on doubling you off and all that, <laughs> but you know that you <laughs> oh my god. I'm telling you, some, some people can be snakes like that. And you know that you need to do this stuff. You know that you have personal goals. And you keep on doing this sticking of projecting. Yeah, the money is good and all that. But then you keep on running, walk, um, you keep on doing mm -hmm. going in circles and circles. You don't really move mm -hmm. forward because there are some skills mm -hmm. I really wanted to pick up before like 2020. 
three ended. And so obviously I went ahead and I got courses and I was trying to take them and then, you know, doing, taking jobs and all of that would, would take my time. So mm -hmm. this year, what I've actually learned is like, saying it's not, as, it's not as easy as motivational speakers make mm -hmm. it sound. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's really not really. And I already... I really don't blame anybody who, who has a difficult time saying no to set it away, especially if that person is your person. It's not like a complete stranger because I think those are the people that are difficult to say no to the most. If it's your person, do this for me now. Do this for I'll pay you whatever. And it's really, really difficult. So I think I've had to say no like three times just wow. this quarter. <laughs> or just because of self-improvement. I mean, I hope it pays yeah. off, honestly speaking, because I, I'm a try I've, I've, I've been picking up some cloud skills and all of that. So because of that, wow. I've had to like put a lot of things aside. I, I think I've suffered the consequences of saying, you know, at least you miss out on one or two money that, that will come your way from one or two jobs. But, you know, you know, you're actually like giving away, what they call it, is it, you're giving away cake to get a bakery. So I think that's just my experience with saying no, just in the past two to three months. So yeah, that's hmm. that's me. Hmm, cool. It's good to hear someone say, oh, they're about to say no, just to focus on their goals. Uh, anyone else would like to share? Yeah, can I? My my own is just more of um okay. asking for um, because he he has he has gotten past that point. I I feel like I'm getting to that point <laughs> right now. So I, I I I created I designed something for someone I worked with where I did IT in 2019. So he referred me to someone. So I've heard the story before whereby people living in the UK, people living in the US, they would look for um designers or developers who are good in Nigeria. And then mm -hmm. use this. Um, she be we are together. She be we are family. This, this, that. And then at the end of the day, you just pay you peanuts. So mm -hmm. I, I have, I've, um, listen. I'm, I'm coming across that now. And I had to like the, the last one. I, I, I don't know how to say no sometimes, and it affected me. The last one, I had to like, like give an excuse that my laptop was not good. I, I was mm -hmm. going to come to village to fix it. Stories that touch. Till he stopped <laughs> replying. This one has come now. This is. Is the first question he asked me was, "Am I a developer?" I said no, and then he showed me the designs that they are currently working on, and I just, I, I just, I had no feedback because he told me to give feedback. I did not know where to start from, and then <laughs> the, he, so he told me that his his own process was 50-50, whereby he would give me um jobs and then we split the we split the work fifty fifty, and then I saw the because the last projects. They worked on was a, a shipment, shipment, um, a, a shipment, what I call it, shipment platform whereby mm -hmm. um, users can ship products from um, UK to, to Nigeria. But I, mm -hmm. saw, I saw the project, I saw the designs, and I would not consider that designs a wireframe because I, I don't, I, I feel the person used maybe Canva or something to design it. So I just, I want to ask Cedar, how, how, how did you say no to those kind of? situations it's right when it's referral and you don't want to like insult the person that referred you or like insult them not not not, not physically or verbally like insult them in terms that you don't take you don't take the jobs or you try to give excuse or you try to like give them a prize so they so they run away like how, how did you do that okay can you hear me so yes i can so, so this is this trust me i had like a, a very very recent experience that is so realistic and so in line with what you just asked, because there's this there's this, there's this um colleague of mine uh, at the at the at the company I work for. I keep on asking him that like, yo, could you send some jobs my way? I kept on asking him because then I think that period I, I think I could read, I could have really used like a second gig or just like a side gig to raise some extra cash. So there was a period where I was I was I was always on his neck, guy. Alpha, anything, 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 and you know he was like. Nah, nothing, 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 nothing. So when I now enter this my self improvement process of meditation and all of that, that's when something that came up. You get so this, this and that makes it a, a lot bit more difficult to say no, because if I'm actually I wanted it, see, you want it, yeah, it wasn't there, and now you're coming to now tell me that oh, well, someone needs a job, someone needs a job, and yo, I, I've entered my process of self improvement. I can't take any jobs, but because it's let not be as if I've been disturbing you since, and I finally brought something, and I'm rejecting it. I then took it. And um, let's say, should I say two days into the job, when, when they handed me the code base and everything, I looked at it and I was like, nah, I saw a lot of red flags. <laughs> I saw a lot of red flags. I saw a lot of red flags. And even when I was speaking to the CEO of the startup, 
he he on he on the other hand was a red flag himself because I don't know he was refusing to he was refusing to do a lot of normal things that you that you should do when you're giving somebody a job. He was refusing to pay down payments. He was refusing to do a lot of things. And then he, my friend kept on, my guy kept on vouching for this guy. Like he's working with this guy for a while. That once I just deliver, he'll pay everything once. I'm like, whoa, oh, where's one coming from? That, that developers have done a strong thing and they run away with his down payment and do not deliver. So he, he's trying to minimize risk by not paying down payment or giving just 10% down payments. And apart from that, I saw a lot of red flags in the code base. So help that developer that coded whatever they coded. And it was, it was really, really something. So, I so had what did to, you eventually do? Yeah, so what did I did was to I had to no? I had to tell him that you know, I had to come to the conclusion or come to the realization. <laughs> I don't know which one which one I came to, but then I just had to I had, I had to just form or something and tell the um my I, I I I first of all I opened up to my friend and told him, Mom, I can't do this. I I'm I'm so sorry that I'm disappointing you. You know that I'm not there. on on another day I'll do this, but <laughs> something doesn't feel right about this job. And besides, I'm on I'm on the path to self-discovery and all of that stuff. So, so two of us now came up with a lie that we tell the guy. So I think he t- whether he told him that I died, that I got into an accident, something, something, wow, something. But that's extreme. I, I'm telling you because because one day when when I when he reached out to the the um, client for me, the CEO of the so called startup, the man refused to believe what my friend was telling him because he felt la la la. See that is not is I, I know what this is. He's not comfortable with the price. That's when this man started increasing price. Somebody that was so, so adamant on price before when we were going back and forth for again. All of a sudden, I don't want to do it again. And now you're not doubling the price. What's what's all this? So <laughs> so so I I basically so my friend now had to now come up with something to tell him that I can't, whether I got into a terrible accident, I be my dog died or something like that. something that was really really touching. I didn't know the, I didn't know developers <laughs> could tell stories like this. Something was really, really touching. And basically that was how I got off the job and I returned the so the small money self that they actually paid for down payment. So so me too, I'm still on the path to saying no completely. Yeah, sometimes that are difficult. Mm-hmm. Like what I said now, this kind of this kind of case scenario was really difficult because I was the one discovering okay. it for jobs. Now a job came and apparently okay. I, I was not in a position to do any job. So that that was I'm still on self-discovery. Thank you very much, Daniel. Um, let me just add to this. I I, I think um, one of the ways you could actually say no is being diplomatic. Sometimes it has to be an outright no. Sometimes, it, like you said, if the person is your, like your person or like somebody you really, really don't want to let down, you could actually provide them an alternative. For instance, they are looking for a developer, they feel you're the one that can do it or something. You can actually refer them to another person and let them know right now you are actually um busy with something else, like probably um caught up in, in another project, which you are. Actually, because if you're not, you wouldn't actually want to know to another project, right? Even taking time off for yourself is self-care and it's also a project that you should actually focus on. So whatever it is you're doing, you could actually be diplomatic and then um, try to offer help by finding them to another person that could actually help them with what they are asking for. All right, thank you. Thank you for that. Um, I'd like us to move on. All right, all right. I'd like us to move to um reflections. Um how has been our journey so far in Kenya, especially this year? Um, I would just like us to make some reflections because um this is the last call for the year. Um, it would be nice to know where we are at. <laughs> All right, somebody said something. Is refining also isn't refining also destroying somebody else? I think it's left to that person to also say no if they are busy actually. But um, like you said, this diplomacy always saves the day. All right, so um who would like to go first? Um okay. Let me see. I can see some people on the call. Okay. Hi, Busayo. So, hi, everyone. Good afternoon. Hello. Good afternoon. Um, so, I, I just asked some, everyone on the call what their reflections about chaos, their journey in chaos so far. Would you like to share? 
Okay. Hey, Nathaniel, let's come on. I'm going to share first. Let's let others go first. Um. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Because at this point, I think I'll have to call people. I just need them. Um, okay, I'm seeing new people on the call. Okay, so let me see, let me see, let me see. Who can I pick? If you're, oh yeah, go, go. If you're, go. Say something. May your blessing, I see you, I hear you. Um, Fion, yeah, go now. Let me let me hear from you. Okay. Can I oh, um, hear me? It's a, okay. I'm currently it's I'm currently it's what I'm doing. <laughs> Oh, okay. I didn't check the chat. Okay, 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 okay. So, okay. Let me pick someone else there. Um, let me see. Mary Blessing. Hello. Our community manager. <laughs> Guys, well, um, who has been saying the articles um Mary Blessing shares uh occasionally on our channel? Can you please appreciate her for that? <laughs> Let me see. Yeah, I think, uh, sorry, you were calling me. Mary Blessing. Hi, hi everybody. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Can you hear me? So I hit my name, I'm so sorry. <laughs> I was asking about your journey in chaos so far, your reflections, what are your lessons learned, your progress made that you can point to, I know, since you joined chaos. Oh, I don't see, I don't even know why, I, my speaker is not loud enough, and I'm not even, I don't, I'm not sure why. Okay. I can hear you clearly. I will show her something about effort, what was that? Um, I was asking um the farm to appreciate you for all the articles that you've been sharing in the group. Oh, Jesus, sorry, so. okay. And I actually sent in my own reaction. <laughs> <laughs> thank, thank you. Okay, thank you. Thanks, everybody. Um, okay. hmm. Oh, reflection. Hey, God. <laughs> um, hmm. Okay, so, okay, I joined Chaos. I think it was last year, sometime in August, I think. And uh, August, September, October, November. I think I think in November, that was like when I started I started coming active, like attending meetings, just observing and yeah. then um then in January now obviously said so there was the break in December. So in January, um things kicked off fully again across all um, working groups. So um, my journey so far, I think in summary, I think I would just say my journey has really been awesome, to be honest. And I mean, shout out to Precious, Precious Oyewushi. She was the one who told me about chaos, right? And um, yeah, it's just been amazing since then. And um did you say lessons learned? I think I think no, 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 your 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 progress, your growth. Oh, your progress. Okay. 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 okay, progress. Um, as to progress, I think since I joined Chaos, right, I've really been so immense in the open source space. Um, um, before before Chaos, I. I do not used to find it really interesting. I mean, open source now. I do not find it really interesting. <laughs> uh, but um, joining the community. Oh my God! See, I'm so sorry. That was I did not hear initially. I was. I mean, in meeting, but my attention is not needed there. Sure. Okay. All right. Cool. So, um, what was I saying? Um, yeah, so joining the community, everything was just it was seamless to be honest, compared to the first um open source community I tried to like get involved with. More it failed, I, I failed woefully in that one. <laughs> so I just like we do and I just summarized that open source is probably enough for me. Of course, I did not have any coding skills and most people in open source were developers or at least designers. Well, I got to know about designers like MTK Russia. 
I had not seen a lot of designers before then. So it was easy because there were people to support. There was Roots, there was Elizabeth. Oh, just oh God, Elizabeth. I keep saying I troubled that woman so much. <laughs> so um, I mean, I was always troubling her with questions. Then yeah, there was also the part where I had to play, which is like have, doing like deep research about chaos. So I had a lot of questions. Whenever I do one research and I find one thing like that, I'll come and disturb Elizabeth or Roots. And they were explained to me. So uh, there was also math, funny thing, like I wasn't expecting to like, you know, be somewhat, um, I, I won't even use the word close, but yeah, kind of like conversing with Matt. I mean, the co-founder of K was, yeah, it was a big deal. <laughs> so yeah, but he helped me then, my work, my role then in one company, he helped me with something. And it was just really amazing how, Everybody was just available to help. So it made things easy. I didn't feel alone, even though at the point I wasn't sure how to use my community management skills um, yeah, to contribute or support. But yeah, things were really easy. And um, from there, I started getting more acquainted with what chaos is, what we do. And getting involved in meetings really you know, helps like um, helped me to understand so many things. Yeah, and it's just been really awesome from there. I have also been able to like, um, you know, with my knowledge with, with open source, my experience with open source, I've been able to like bring that into my own community, like where I work, she could have to to like organize, um, you know, open source campaigns, right? That um, my chapter communities help to like um, push. Right. So, um, and I've also, you know, had the privilege to also like speak to people about open source and tell you how they can contribute, even as a no code person. So, um, all of those wouldn't have been possible if I didn't get, you know, the help and support and experience I had in chaos. Right. So, um, I think that has been my progress, and I'm really looking forward to more contributing wow. you know in my own little way that I've always been doing and yeah thank you Adeka thank you thank you thank you I first met Mary Blessing um during Chaos Con and um I, I just kept looking at her the way she was um uh, uh, you know, she she was our MC, the master of ceremony and I was looking at her the way she was um uh um what's the word now the way she commanded the room and all that and it was just beautiful to watch and since then uh, i've been reaching out to her we've been on so a couple of um, group work together and very nice um to have worked with her thank you very much uh a blessing we hope to see more of your beautiful work in 2024 yeah <laughs> All right. Uh, anyone else? One more person before we move on. One more person. A guy, he, so that we can actually balance the gender, a guy, this time. <laughs> Who would like to go? Hi, Omide. Call Kingsley. Call Kingsley. Kingsley. <laughs> If you know, <laughs> you're always on Kisley's matter. What happened there? <laughs> Sally, excuse me. <laughs> okay, let me see. Okay, okay, okay. Kisley, you're good to go. All right. <laughs> no, I, I want to be I was expecting a weekday and Felix to share, but then, um, well, I joined Tales last year. So I think uh, June or so. And been quite a journey anyway. You know, been fun. Right. And um, honestly, here was actually my first. <laughs> my first very first open source project. And joining chaos, right, the first two months was crazy. And after then, I think I was just lucky enough to you know, understand the project, of course, Ruth, with the help of Ruth and all that. And um, I just started owning up to things, right? Just working on stuff. And no one, of course, there were a lot of persons on the design the thing then, but nothing was really happening. So I just had to, based on what I understood, I just had to, you know, start working on a couple of stuff. 
I wrote this DM me. I was like, come on. Um, what do you think about this working on being the maintainer of the design? I was like, cool. But I, I don't have any experience managing any design community before now, open source and stuff. So uh, that's basically how my role right, started off. And then um, I recall people like Elizabeth and Matt sometimes just getting messaged me because I just sort of felt like phone up to some things and started working on it. And gradually, you know, from chaos, I've contributed to <laughs> several other projects. And then um, I've been designing for a while, right? And um, I've been designing for a while, but it's just funny how, you know, joining open source, right, through chaos, right? A lot of questions actually get to discover the stuff I was doing, right? And um, from chaos, right, I've had several other speaking engagements and stuff because people actually saw the work I was doing at chaos. And through chaos too, I can recall being invited to contribute to Oscar. I never really liked, you know, so I was part of the designers. I was on the just concluded Oscar <laughs> Yeah, maybe. So um yeah, and seriously, a lot of things has happened, right? Between this one year of contributing. And um, I'm still looking forward to all that stuff. I think I'm also very happy that, um, of course, you know, design um, working group, right, has been one of the active working groups since I took on the role, right, as a maintainer. And to see a um, lot of designers come in, like the likes of Nikki, uh, Felix, you know, Lamy, uh, Joseph, you know, and each and every one of them are actively involved and like these guys are really amazing and they are doing stuff. You know, the fact that we just go and beyond to kind of like explore not just the things we share in our course and all that, but just, you know, just bringing innovation into what we do. I think for me, I'm, I'm just sort of happy that at this point, chaos design is not you know, it's not just all about me, right? But these guys are right here. So even if I'm not in chaos tomorrow, really thoughts are really safe and seriously, I'm really that I think that's kind of like my greatest achievement so far this year. Right. So midday already does a leader and they have Joseph, we have a Toria that is not here. All these guys are amazing, doing amazing stuff. So for me I think that's one of my biggest achievements so far. Right. Not just being a leader but also to be so thank you guys and um thank you everyone. Thank you so much, Chris Kinsley. I can actually attest to your work. Um we worked together um on uh my goodness, Apple. how did I forget? Apple. Yes, Afos. <laughs> I'm trying to I'm trying to re remember the full meaning. African uh, open source projects. Yes, that's AFOS. Yes. And I actually know that um, your team is very active. I, I, I like the project because of the way I, I had to interact with uh, the designers, the developer. And then I came in as um, a, a UX writer, even though I had not done that before. It was just a cool experience being able to work with different teams and um no. thank you <laughs> thank you for that experience what did you say i, I said you did a great job <laughs> thank you thank you thank you for that all right um thank I you very much can, why are you yes why are you making us do this why are you um, making us do this? I, I you do like your own, though. You better say your own. <laughs> it's almost four o'clock, and I don't want us to pass four o'clock. So <laughs> we just stopped now. <laughs> Is that very blessed? Okay. I think it was Desmond. We should share his own too. Let's cry. Yeah. I, I okay. saw Desmond this. <laughs> okay okay so i i'm making us do this because it's the last call of the year like i said earlier 
And so I, I think it's just fitting that we have some reflections and something to look back on as we go into the new year so that we can be more gingered and see how we can be better in 2024, right? So that's why I called for this. And it's almost four and we still have some other things to do. So probably when we finish that, we can go back to reflections. But thank you for the people that have talked. My blessing and kissing. Thank you so much. Um, so we have some, um, okay, it's just one announcement actually. Uh, we have a Lagos meetup. I think we've been talking about it for a while now. Uh, and uh, right now we need to pick a date that uh, is convenient for everyone. Anyway, I, I don't know. This is not supposed to be a Lagos meetup. It's just going to be happening in Lagos. So if you are in Fort Court, wherever you are, it's Chaos Africa. So wherever you are in the world, if you are interested in coming to the Lagos meetup, this is for you. So we would like us to pick um, a, a date that is suitable for you. So um, please, could you write your name or should I say, is it right name now? Um, can we all agree? Is it okay to write your name on that date? Yeah, so that we know how many people are done for that particular date. So I'm already putting in the tabs. Okay, let me check the chat session. How about we do a reflection thing on the channel? Oh, cool, cool stuff. <laughs> Somebody said, okay, okay, if you know, all right, I'll, I will write that on the channel. That's cool. All right, so 2024, just like that. Yeah, I am there just like that. Just like that. Let's close our eyes in 31 this time. We're already... <laughs> We are ready in 2024. Okay, so guys, let's use um, let's say another 10 minutes to quickly fit this out. Can we do that? Hmm? Someone is saying something, right? Hi, Adinka. Okay, family blessing. I can hear you. This is in my background. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I don't know if you have an idea when, um, I know general chaos has like closed for the year, I think, but what about chaos Africa? I'll be, do we still have any other thing? Again? <laughs> no, 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 no. So this is the last call for the, for the year. This is the last call for the oh, year. Wow. After that, happy holidays, we'll be... <laughs> happy holidays, happy holidays. So after that, we will all go on a break and see each other by the grace of God in 2024. So that's why. That's why I was calling for the reflections. <laughs> Inshallah, okay. I will be there. Inshallah. All right. All right. Cool stuff. Thank you. <laughs> Somebody was talking about touching stories. Oh, yeah, no, I'm not seeing people writing names. Though. Are you not planning to come for Lagos Meetup? <laughs> this one, did you come late? What are we sharing? We are sharing about our journey in chaos. Mm -hmm. And if you suggested that we take it to the channel because time is actually going, which I think it's very um it's a nice idea. Mm -hmm. Then they already planned activity um for the meetup. So Winifred and everyone, um, there is a community already planning or for the Lagos meetup. So uh, we can actually relax. Our own is to pick a date where, which is a majority, which is majorly convenient for, for us and the, the community will work with that. Feel, I know the most but. I anonymous crawl. So who is anonymous crawl? Okay. <laughs> All right, guys. Um, I hope you are writing it down. I can see anonymous kiwi. <laughs> That's when you heard. Okay. All right. So um, let's see, let's see. Why will 
allow people to write their names down under the uh, selected dates. Who would like to do an appreci appreciation um, shout out? Yes. Now is the time for us to do appreciation shout out to anyone that has helped Me. you in chaos. Cool, cool. Who is that? Mary, let's help you. <laughs> yes, it's MB. Okay. Yes, I, I think first of all, I think I've done this shout out before, but yeah, first of all, shout out to Precious Onye Wushi. Again, like I said, she was the one who told me about chaos, right? And um, that's how, like, how I joined the community. Then shout out to Enoch. I know he's not on this call, but Enoch was really amazing. Um, I don't know if I'm doing shout out to only Chaos Africa members, but yeah, shout out to Elizabeth, shout out to Matt, shout out to um, Samantha. Many of us don't know Samantha, but she was the lead for Chaos Communications Working Group, she and Georg. Uh, Samantha has also been instrumental in my growth, even as a community manager. She also, um, she also like um, gave me the opportunity to have my first keynote in an international um, conference for community builders, and it was Elizabeth that also like recommended me to her as well. So shout out to the both of them. Then shout out to Ruth. Yes, shout out to Ruth. Like this shout out will not be complete without Ruth. Ruth has been amazing, like super super amazing. <laughs> she has giving me opportunities to like do stuff, right? Um, even me sometimes, I wouldn't believe I'll be able to, but she just like, give me that benefit of that, just just do it. And, you know, um, I go ahead to do it. And it's just been amazing how our friendship has, has grown since um, I, I, I met her in chaos. I mean, I've known her from Twitter, of course, <laughs> but yeah, I wasn't so close to her until I started getting involved in chaos and contributing to chaos, yeah. Then who was again? I might shout it out to yeah. <laughs> shout out to Kisley. Kisley is an amazing person as well. And um, who was again? Do I want to give shout out to? Wait, again, do I want to give? Oh, shout out to Precious Abubakar. Oh my God, Precious Abubakar. Um, Olushi Mwako. Yes, these two people have also been awesome. Mm -hmm. And um, shout out to you, Adinka. Oh, um, I, I remember appeared. us working together. <laughs> <laughs> I remember was working together for that um funding um um scholarship. Yeah. What was mm -hmm. it again? Yeah, 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 yeah. Mm -hmm. when, when Open you, investment you, fund. Thank you. Yes, yeah, yes, yes, yes. You all yeah, we were going to do that for chaos, but unfortunately we did not get it. But yeah, um yeah, shout out <laughs> to okay. you and also to Anita. Um we really did our best and really excited for the experience at least next time now we know what to do best mm -hmm. yeah how to think about it yeah so um thank you thank you thank you thank you thank you thank you please as you're writing out your shout out please can you like write your name so that oh i just saw my name appear shout out to Adenika. who wrote that please write your name there great host i'm grateful for that i appreciate that thank you thank you who would like to come on the mic this month do you say something <laughs> we have eight minutes to go say, say something say something yeah. okay so so that you don't say um, I, I didn't I didn't say anything. Let me quickly do my own shout out. Shout out to this one. Wait, can I? Okay. Okay, okay. Who is speaking? No, this me. One. Oh no, Who I is me. Hi, I'm Okay, right. okay, okay. Yeah, please yeah. go ahead. Go ahead. I just want to say shout out to shout out to everyone at Chaos and shout out to Chaos. Chaos gave me that that moment whereby I spoke about something and people were actually listening and stunned to to um, listen, to hear what I was saying. Uh, when I was talking about um, the neurodivergent, when we worked on the neurodivergent um, case of the GitHub Copilot, when I was explaining it to someone, some people had never heard about that before. So I just want to say shout out to Chaos for giving me that, that opportunity to talk about something something crazy because it was at that, um, it was at the high, height of AI and um, we we're, were actually doing that and we were working on the project. So I shared it to someone and the person, the person had nothing to say. The person was just stunned. So I just want to say thank you. Thank you to everyone at Chaos and 
thank you, thank, thank you, Chaos for that, because I'm really, really happy to be here. And shout thank out to you. Kingsley, shout out to everyone. Oh, shout out to Kingsley, hello, Kingsley, nice. Okay, thank you, thank you. So, who else wants to go? Usayo, would you like to go? I really, really hope I can capture all of this. Higa, please, shout out to you. Please, can you put it on the dock so that um, this does not go to, um, it does not disappear after the call. Uh, nice. So, can I, can I say something? Okay. okay, let me see who is speaking. Who is speaking? Please, Sleep, please go ahead. Go ahead, go ahead, please. I can hear you. Kisley. So can you hear me? Okay, yes, I can hear you now. Uh, so my application to Ruth, right, for introducing me to Chaos Africa, and then, you know, a lot has happened after then. And then to the amazing um, individuals here, um, I saw Mary B, of course, Mary B. <laughs> Mary B joined the community. You know, I got a lot of questions mm -hmm. and from Mary B. And she was always, you know, up acting the so, doing an amazing job. And Shall you, you know, big fan. Diffio and Midi and Felix, right? Felix, shout out to Felix. Felix is just an amazing guy, quiet guy, but, you know, doing great stuff and Usayo, I, I met um some of the spices at um the chaos con and now of course to Toria Toria is not here so shout out to Toria for all the amazing stuff she does and to everyone hope you all thank you guys thank you thank you so much <laughs> okay I'm trying to capture people's shout out from the chat Oh, people are hearing their names. Oh, <laughs> shout out to Ruth, Victoria, that's Yiga, and the oh, my name again, Yiga. That's good. Thank you very much. I really, really want to appreciate every single person, both on this call and not on the call at the moment. Every one of us have been amazing. Um, thank you for showing up every day, sometimes um every week, every um two weeks, and sometimes um three or four times in a week to all of the chaos meeting that we usually have, and for all of your contributions and for your ideas and for your smile and then sharing your day-to-day -day activities and um stories and um struggles sometimes and then your wins too i think that's what all what makes us um, humans being able to share our wins and sometimes our losses and um, helping people that reach out to us in our dms thank you thank you thank you and i really um look forward to having more energetic people. I, I hope we all take our time to rest in December so that we can come back refreshed in 2024 with greater ideas, you know, that will help us to move our communities forward. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. Thank you, guys. All right. Um, I would like to say see you in the channel until um, 2024 then. <laughs> Thank you, everyone. I really, really want to capture people's shout out here. Okay. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Please don't forget to write your names on the um the date so that we can actually capture the date that is convenient for everyone. All right. Thank you, everyone. Bye, okay, everybody. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. 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 Thank you. Thank you. Thank bye, you. Thank bye, you. Everyone. Thank you. Bye. 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 Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.